Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steen Roller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steen Roller free play of the day. Yes, it will really be there. Um, as always, if you're having some fun digging what we're doing, appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. Give everybody a chance to do it here right at the beginning. Get ready to smash that thumb. Here we go. Three, two, one. Smash that sucker right there. Boom. Hit it. All right. Nicely done. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, now's a great time. You should absolutely do that. And, of course, check out winnersandwiners.com. Deep dives every game, every single day. Always free. You guys know the drill. And speaking of knowing the drill, hey, we want to know what you're playing. What are you drilling down to today? Got some baseball picks lined up. Maybe something from the NBA. Soccer. Whatever it is, put those plays in the comment section. You get them right. Hey, man, we'll give you the shout-out. You get enough of them right. And you will be the capper of the day. All right. So, uh, quick recap of yesterday. I'm old. There you go. Um, man, I tell you, I, I'm not going to give you a bunch of excuses, but I'll tell you what happened. I just, I get out of my rhythm. I, I guess they call it, I guess here in the 21st century, we call it workflow, but we messed with the radio show. I did some editing and everything was just a little, we didn't have a game to recap and yeah, it was just blah, blah, blah. Talk about no game. COVID sucks, blah, blah, blah. And Hey, here's a capper of the day. So Sorry, guys. Uh, for the record, I had Royals uh, team total over five and a half. Uh, if you guys know me by by now, you know I hate Keegan Aiken. Well, I love to fade him. He's been a moneymaker for us. So uh, we ended up, I had no interest in laying, uh, what, 155, 160 on the Royals. Um, when I did the video, they hadn't announced the starter. It looked like it was going to be Duffy, and it was. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> Duffy's had a great season. He pitched well tonight. So nicely done, KC. But uh, <laughs> yeah, for... In com complete disclosure, we did hit it, but um, <laughs> yeah, there's a reason sports books don't let you walk in after the game's over and go, you know, I uh, I had the bet on that game. So anyway, uh, premium aside, we did go, we went 1-0. Uh, and Officially, we had the A's game, and that became no action when, when Bassett got scratched there late in the afternoon. They ended up winning anyway, so hopefully some of my clients actually made that, went, went ahead and made the play, but that was a play that was... Um, custom built for Bassett to be uh, on the bump. Our other play was a pretty good one. We had the Nationals and the Padres over nine and a half. So it took us an inning and a half to hit it. So say what you want about being one of my clients. You didn't have to wait around long yesterday. So nicely done, guys. All right, so let's go on and take a look at today's action. I actually do have a play. How about that? Um, we're going to take a look at the uh, Seattle and the Angels game. I'm going to give you a bonus play, guys. Um, as far as the basketball game goes, we're going to we're going to play uh, we're going to play team total over on that one. We're going to play the uh, um, the Phoenix Suns team team the Phoenix Suns team total over. Sorry, guys. It looks. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find a line here real quick. If there's anything been posted. We're going to call it 111. I think that's good. Total's 218. Four is your spread, four and a half. So maybe, maybe 111 and a half. I don't care either way. Um, this is this has been a homer series, man. This has been a series where the home team uh, has ruled. And I think that it's, uh, going back to Phoenix is going to be a huge help for this Phoenix Suns team. I like what's happened to Booker. Um, Booker putting up 40 in the last game, being able to pick up some of the slack without Paul. I think CP3 plays better. I think that team... Uh, gets it together. I, I don't know that anybody can stop Giannis. So that's why we're going to concentrate on what the Phoenix Suns do. So give me the Phoenix Suns uh, team total over 111 and a half. And for a little bonus play, we're going to throw in uh, Seattle and the Angels. Let's see. That's what, what I do for you guys here. You know, we it all averages out. We average one pick a day. <laughs> Whether I do zero and then two the next day. Anyway, uh, we're going to play... The Seattle Mariners and the LA Angels, first five under four and a half. As Yasai Kikuchi goes for Seattle against Alex Cobb for the Halos. You know, before his last start against the Yankees, the Cooch, personal favorite of mine, by the way, if you listen to Scott and Idol, you know I talk about the Cooch a lot. Uh, he'd been on quite a roll, uh, 1.93 ERA and, one, and a .98 whip in his last six. Um, I'm banking on him returning to form against this Angels team that doesn't hit lefties nearly as well as they do righties. As far as Alex Cobb goes, had a forgettable April. Ended up missing two starts with a blister issue. Since then, it's been very good or very bad. 
<clears throat> he's made uh, six starts, given up two runs or less, and he's made three starts where he's given up five or more. Well, congratulations, Psycho. Uh, one of those games was against the Mariners on June 5th. Seattle hung five on him in seven innings, but Cobb got his revenge last time out, blanked the M's four, five, and a third. I want no part of these two clown cars that they call bullpens for either one of these teams. Um, I think but, I think, but uh, at least one, and very possibly two, will both struggle to score until the pens get involved. I like this starting matchup right here. I think Kikuchi gets back to doing his thing, and I think Cobb, who's been mostly good, fingers crossed, that's going to be our wild card right there, but I think he does enough to keep that total under four and a half. So give me Seattle Mariners, uh, LA Angels, first five, under four and a half, and we'll do the... Uh, Phoenix Suns team total over 111. And at the end of those two, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys. Uh, you know how I did yesterday. Now, um, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Let's see how y'all did here. A lot of perfect scores. A lot of perfect scores. Greg Gillings, 2-0 plus 200. Corey Graves, 2-0 plus 200. Jan Dudley, 1-0 plus 500, had the A's first five on the run line. Eric Catherine, 1-0 plus 500, had the Astros. T-Train, uh, 1-0 plus 500, he had Toronto on the run line. And Ninja, 13, there's a brave man right there going 1-0 plus 500. He had those Kansas City Royals. But your capper of the day, you know, there's money to be made in tennis. And Reichel has convinced me, and if I wasn't convinced before, I'm convinced now, Tony's teaser picks, everybody, going 1-0, plus 1,200. Hit a nice two-team tennis parlay there for plus 240. Man, <laughs> nice job, Tony. Congratulations, 1-0, plus 1,200. Tony's teaser picks. You are the capper of the day. Well done, Tony. Well done to the rest of you. Nicely done, guys. Nice uh, way to go, indeed. Let's, uh, let's get it fired up. Nice way to start the second half. Let's keep the momentum going. Hope everybody goes out there and makes a ton of money. Hope every one of those tickets in your pocket turns into cash when you head back to the window. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience with the old man. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys.